Uh, Anza, many, many congratulations uh, to your uh, selection. And then you're gonna go uh, US for PhD program. Which university uh, you got selection? Uh, so I got selected in the Sonnenbrook uh, University. Chemistry program. Yeah. So let's uh, let's start begin this conversation. Uh, tell us about yourself. Uh, uh, from where you belong to and, and what your educational background is. Okay. So my name is Anza, and I am uh, I graduated from ISO Dhirupati. I am an organic chemistry major. And, uh, yes. And from where uh, do you come? Oh, okay. Uh, I am basically from Kerala. You're from Kerala. And what about your uh, family, uh, your parents, your siblings? <laughs> so uh, my father is working abroad and my mother is a government uh, employee. Right. And I have a brother. He is doing. He's in, currently in third year uh, MBBS. He is currently MBBS. Okay. And uh, you graduated, I think, integrated master's program from oh, Abu Dhabi, yes. Kaiser, yeah, which is very good institution in, in India. Tell me how you got into Kaiser program. So after my twelfth, I wrote the Kaiser entrance exam. And that's all I did. And what were your grades or any research or internship experience during this program? Um, school or BSMS degree? A B, uh, this ISER program. So uh, my CGPA was 7.5 uh, in um, BSMS. And during the final year, I did my research on uh, medicinal chemistry. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, and when you uh, thought about that you want to do a PhD abroad? So uh, basically, I graduated during the COVID time. So okay. I was really confused what to do and kind of thing. So it actually took me a year to decide that I want mm -hmm. to do PhD. That's how I contacted. In the process of uh, figuring out how did you get to know about us? And, uh, uh, From the YouTube videos, I was actually searching. Uh, I, I think I was searching for how to write an SOP or something. Then I ended up on YouTube channel, some of your videos. And then that's all. Yeah, you, you belong to Kerala. And then this process, uh, mentorship program is completely online platform. How did you trust us? And why you trust us? <laughs> Okay, because of all the like success videos. Okay. Uh, you you never have uh, any doubts. No, actually, I didn't have any doubts. Like, I didn't have. Any doubts. Okay. <laughs> so uh, during your master's program, I, I would say, you got married at a very young age. No, uh, like oh. after my semester. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So after your completion of. Uh, and what about your husband? What he is doing currently? So he is a pilot. And... Pilot. So are you flying with him too? <laughs> like a co-pilot? <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the uh, U.S. application process. Uh, I think you wanted to first apply for NTU and, and NUS, right? Yeah. Have you heard, um, heard anything from them? No, no. Actually, I have given the interview for uh, NUS, mm -hmm. but I have not heard anything. I mean, the, uh, the portal still says application in progress. Uh, in progress. Yeah, I think it takes like, yeah, this is maybe uh, through April or early May. Mm -hmm. If they want to give you an opportunity, maybe there will be another round of entry. Okay. So you put a uh, few applications to the US, uh, right? Yeah. And yes. how many applications you put and what selection uh, today you have? Five. So, um, so basically I was aiming for University of Florida or the University of Arizona, but mm -hmm. I did, uh, get selected into those. Mm -hmm. Then um, then it was Stony Brook, so I chose to choose. So you are going to the 
Stony Brook for your PhD program, which is a very prestigious institution. What about the scholarship? Uh, uh, it's uh, $34,000 annually. Okay. It's per year. Per year. It also covers, I think, tuition. Uh, yeah, it covers the tuition. Okay. Okay. Yes. What examination did you take for this application process? Uh, IELTS, IELTS. Uh, the English Professional Certificate. Okay. How did you prepare? What was your score? Uh, actually, I got only four days or something to prepare for that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, and I was able to score 7.5. Yeah, that's okay. pretty, pretty good. So, how did you prepare? Prepare. Uh, I watched YouTube videos and oh. I had a book. Uh, like, I got it from somebody. Okay. So, I just went through it, real through. And it's mainly the YouTube videos. Yeah, YouTube videos. Uh, did you take GRE examination? Mm -hmm. Oh, GRE is waived. So, anyways, it is not required. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, since the beginning of, of, of our, inter, our mentorship platform that you joined until the selection, okay, uh, how we mentored you or what, how we guided you through this? Uh, uh, success. Sir, it was really helpful. Like it would never have been possible without you because um, I actually had no clue about applying to the U.S. universities. Like, like mm -hmm. from the beginning, like, the, like maybe from the first page of the application. Oh, okay. So I used to contact you whenever I had doubts. Like mm -hmm. even the smallest of the doubts, you used to clear it. Yes. So it was really helpful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Even what? the SOP. Yeah, go ahead. Talk about SOP is very important. <laughs> ah, yeah, the SOP is the main part of the application. Yeah. So, um, like, I, yes, 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 it was. Yeah, I, I, it seems you're you're a very shy person. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, scientific CV, SOP, uh, uh, other part of the university listing, and those are the yes. things. Uh, did you have any difficulty uh, being, especially being fe female? Uh, I mean, did you face any kind of uh, difficulty in your career, early career so far? Yeah, there was kind of some, you know, uh, being from a middle class family, there mm -hmm. were kind of uh, restrictions and uh, even for the BSMS going to a different state. Mm -hmm. In India, but still, then there was some kind of difficulty. <laughs> I could manage. Yes. Uh, now let's talk about a visa process uh, because you married, and uh, I already talked to your husband, and, and yeah, we are figuring out that you should go on F1 or, or J1 visa. So I think for now, I would say F1 is just fine. F1, yeah. yeah so. We are actually deciding. That. Anthony, yeah, I already talked with you. Have you received I-20 yet? No, sir. I am yet to submit the details. So Details, okay. What are you waiting for to submit details? Uh, actually, there are many procedures about the housing and like I had to enter another portal and give the details and some kind of thing. So, okay. So I thought I'll go through all of it and do it together. Okay. So, uh, do they ask any extra information for I twenty in, in this case? No, sir. Like I am yet to provide the uh, the original copy of my graduate certificate or something, and okay. I'll check them from uh, else. Yes, uh, provide okay. So I have to do that. Yeah, I think you should start doing that now. Okay, because yeah. uh, uh, getting I twenty might take one to two weeks. Then uh, uh, DS one sixty then. Uh, visa uh, interview appointment and it takes time. So nothing to worry. Uh, we have a lot of uh, time, but still you need to initiate the process. Okay. And probably you and your husband are going to go uh, F1 and F2 visa at the same time. Whether he joins you or not, a secondary issue. That's, a, that's, I would say, a good decision. Do you want to give any message to the audience? Because I think there's so many students going to watch this uh, video. Uh, <laughs> like um, if 
you have any dream, like there will be many, uh, many obstacles in between. Mm -hmm. You have to fight for it. Okay. You should try for it. Right. I see. Right. Yeah, this was what it is, uh, Anza. I mean, many, many congratulations to you. I think you're going to uh, go for it. You're a wonderful instrument anyways. And you want to figure out things, how research is going to. Uh, uh, be happening in the U.S. Learning new skills, <laughs> uh, new challenges will come obviously. So you have to stay motivated in the uh, PhD program. Yes. Wish you all the best. We'll connect with uh, for visa. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay.